Hello everybody, I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, the Vision Manifestation Queen. I'm a licensed professional counselor and master his coach. Welcome to Vision Manor Moments, where I help Christian women get free from vision blockers, get clear on the vision so they can get moving on whatever it is that God has given them permission to do. Did you know that if God has given you permission to do something, you don't need anybody else's permission? I want that to sink in for a moment. If God has given you something to do, you don't need anybody else's permission to do it. So last week we started a series about getting the silent killer stress off of your heels. Some of you actually brought stress into your 2017. If you brought stress into your 2017, are you willing to put a one in the comments? Did you bring stress into your 2017? Well, I'm here to remind you that stress is a silent killer. Not only will it kill you physically, but it will kill. I know that's right, Dr. Uh, Sims. Hello. <laughs> um, not only will stress kill you physically, but it will also kill your vision. It'll kill your dreams if you let it. So last week, I talked about physical manifestations of stress. I talked about emotional manifestations of stress as well as spiritual manifestations of stress. So if you haven't had a chance to um, take a look at those videos, I suggest that you go check out the replays. Today, I want to give you three more tips. Again, I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, the vision manifestation queen. I'm a licensed professional counselor and master his coach at the His Coach Training Academy where we train others on how to help others. So just to recap, last week I gave you three tips to get stress off of your heels. Today I want to give you three more. I want to give you three more tips that will help you get stress off of your heels. Hi, his coach Francis. Great to see you, darling. So just to recap, but as I said before, before I get into the content, I want to give you the superfood for today. I want to give you the superfood for today. Remember, this is Vision Manor Moments. And every time you come on the broadcast, you will have superfood. And this superfood is for you to meditate on, pray about, and ponder on and ask God, what does he want you to know about you? Okay. So the superfood is something that I want you to digest, actually to chew on and digest and basically to, uh, to examine yourself. So the superfood, the superfood for today is Psalm 55, 22, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Now I want you to take note of the word cast. Take note of the word cast. It's a verb, right? That means there's action behind that word. Okay, so that's the first super food. The second superfood is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 that says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Now, when you look at the word your, he's talking about you. And so as I was meditating on these two scriptures, um, the superfood for today, God made me um, take note of the fact that we are responsible for how we respond to circumstances, situations, and events that causes us stress. We're responsible for taking action. We're responsible for responding in a healthy way. And when we do our part, we know God will do his part, right? We know that God is faithful, but the question is, are you committed enough to do what 
has to be done to de-stress. So that is the superfood for today. Now, just to recap on the three on the three tips I gave you last week. The three tips that I gave you last week was first breathing. Breathing is so important. I don't know why people, you know, some people in our community when we're told to go through some type of breathing exercise, you know, we get really, really scared because we think it's new age. Let me tell you, God breathed in Adam first, right? The breath of life. And so don't be afraid of um, doing any types of breathing exercises. As long as you are focusing on God, the Holy Spirit and no idols, you're going to be just fine. So the first tip I gave you last week was breathing. And I share with you an app that you can actually download on both iOS and Android. Also, the second tip was ask yourself what's within your control. And the third tip was find a secret place. Did you know that God will meet you in that secret place? That third tip I call your still time. Most of us don't do this, but we all should have a period of time where we are being still talking to God, just still quietness or, you know, play some instrumental music, get some candles. I love, um, uh, lavender. So last week, those are the three tips that I gave you this week. I have three new tips for you. This week, the tips are Got three more tips for you. You know, it's something about, you know, every now and then technology will fail you, right? So I have three more tips for you today. The tip for the three tips today. The first one is create a de-stress plan. Create a de-stress plan. Now in this plan, and I need you to hear me clearly on this. This plan is a personalized plan for you. For example, what might de-stress his coach Francis may not de-stress me. So when you create a de-stress plan, make sure it flows with you. Make sure it flows with your life or else you're going to have additional stress because it's not going to work. So in your de-stress plan, take note of those tips that I share with you that fits your lifestyle, fits you, fits your design. That is the key to creating the best de-stress plan for yourself. Thank you, his coach, um, Francis. So make sure your de-stress plan flows with you. The fifth tip is journal. I love journaling. When you journal, you can um, write your thoughts, write what's on your heart. But the best thing about journaling is it's a spiritual discipline. You can actually journal and wait a few minutes and allow God to make download downloads. Yes, it's, it's a great spiritual discipline. Actually, I, I realized I've been, you know, journaling since I was a little girl at, at that time, we called it, um, writing in your diary, but the fifth tip is journaling and just note the paper that you're writing on is not going to talk back to you. The paper that you're writing on is not going to judge you. The only thing I will tell you about having a journal is to make sure it's in a safe and confidential place where no one can get to it. Okay. So that's the fifth tip for today. The sixth tip tip is to laugh. Some of us have stopped laughing because we've allowed the stressors of life to just take our joy and our laughter away. Well, today I want to encourage you to allow, to get your laughter back. It, it's okay. The Bible talks about a merry heart. In uh, Proverbs 17, it talks about 
um, having a cheerful heart. It's good medicine. It is good medicine. There's nothing wrong with laughing. Some of us are too serious. We take life too serious. Therefore, we can't have fun. And, and people around us don't enjoy being around us because we don't laugh as much. I don't know about you, but I love to laugh. I love hanging out with my kids because they always make me laugh and they're always laughing at me. But when I was a little girl, I remember, um, uh, I, we, I had, I have this uncle, uncle Ike, and he would, uh, come in the room and everybody in the room looking at TV. And I can just remember, you know, the heater being on and it's hot as fire because for some reason, my grandparents always kept it extremely hot. And, and I'm like that today. Isn't that something? And so we would be in there looking at TV and my uncle would come in the room and just start laughing hysterically, falling on the ground, on the floor. And we couldn't help but to laugh too. So within 15 minutes, everybody in the room was laughing. And I, I'm almost 50 now. And so I remember that so vividly. He would just come in and just laugh, you know, just a crazy laugh. Let's start laughing, guys. If you want to de-stress, it's okay to laugh. As the Bible says, you know, you know, um, a cheerful heart. When you laugh, you have a cheerful heart. I stumbled across a quote and it's a, uh, from an unknown. I'm not sure who, who actually wrote it, but he said, and actually it could have been a she, I don't know, but it says, I have not seen anyone dying from laughter, but I know millions who are not laughing. Isn't that something? I just love that quote. So again, create a de-stress plan that fits your life. Don't, don't compare your plan to anybody else's because my de-stress plan will be different from yours. Okay. Um, journal, it is a spiritual discipline and it will allow you to vent on paper because some of us just need to get it out. Okay. And the sixth tip is to laugh. So those are your tips for today. Remember the superfood for the day is um, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And Psalm 55, 22. Marinate on that, on those two superfood scriptures. Digest it, meditate on it, ponder on it, and ask God to show you you. Ask him as a result of these, um, of this superfood, super ask God to show you the areas that you can change. You know, sometimes we don't realize that some of the actions that we take or some of the decisions that we make causes the stress, but we are, we will blame the devil all day long about some of this stress. But I want you, I want to encourage you today to examine yourself, use the superfood to examine yourself so that you can figure out what you need, right? What you need to de-stress, what you need to get the silent killer stress off of your heels. I always like to um, finish up with uh, the power, my power questions for today. And actually these, these power questions are questions that, uh, I will always end my broadcast with because, you know, sometimes, you know, when we ask ourselves questions that are filters, you know, hope I can get my questions here. You know, questions are filters. And when we can ask ourselves certain questions and then really, really be honest with ourselves, you know, we, we can begin to get some answers and I can't really. So I ask that you bear with me while I get my power questions up. Apparently I um, did not move them over. I do know the first question is, um, what are you tolerating? 
Are you tolerating different things in your life? Hey, Angie, welcome to the broadcast. Are you tolerating in your things in your life that, um, somehow I missed it. Are you tolerating certain things in your life that's causing stress? You know, if we were to be honest, many of us are allowing certain things in our lives that, you know, um, are causing stress. And if we were to be honest with ourselves, we might just can, you know, come up with, you know, uh, the solution, but you know, that's another point. When you are honest with yourself, you can come up with the perfect solution. It's when we're not honest with ourselves that we don't, we, we can't find the solutions, the, the solution to certain things. And so I asked you today while I'm trying to find my power questions, um, are you being honest with yourself about your stress? Are you being honest with yourself about your stress? So let's talk about the power questions. Are you, what are you tolerating? What are you tolerating in your life that's causing the stress? The second power question is, what can you change? You see, there are certain things that we can do, as I mentioned uh, when we started, that there are certain things that we can do to counter stress. As um, we talked about in our uh, power, in our power food, we are responsible for how we respond to circumstances, situations, and events. We can we can choose to respond in a way that's unhealth, unhealthy, or we can choose to respond in a way that's healthy. And so again, the power questions for the day are, what are you tolerating? What can you change? Are you committed to doing the work? And what is God saying about that very thing that's stressing you out? So today I simply wanted to bring you three more, um, Three more tips to help you get stress off of your heels. I ask that you um, share this broadcast. You know, if you know people who um, are living a very stressful life and you, you know, you care enough about them to say, hey, this is going to help you. I invite you to share. No pressure, of course. But I want to thank everyone for coming on my broadcast as I, um, step up my game this year angie and uh, francis thank you very much for uh showing up and i pray that you have a wonderful day and i'll see you